What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be breaking down one of my favorite little route concepts out of the gun bunch that's going to absolutely be able to torch every single defense in the game. And we're really going to do a little bit of a deep dive on skinny post routes and how this can really open up pretty much everything for your offense. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as I post videos every single day to help people get better at Madden. And uh, real quick, before we go any further, I do want to let you know that I actually just released a one hour free breakdown on the gun bunch in my text message membership. It's kind of a preview to my bunch ebook, uh, which will be linked in the description if you want to get the full offense. But if you want to get that free breakdown, all you got to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. That number's at the top left hand corner of your screen. It's also in the description. And again, just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. I release free schemes every single week uh, in my text message membership. I've got my 335 odd defense in there. I've got uh, the bunch in there. And then next week, we're looking at potentially doing the 335 wide defense. So if you want to get those free schemes sent to your cell phone every single week, all you got to do is sign up by texting the word Madden the 208-218-6900. Now the play we're gonna be going over is Bunch Trail. I actually really love this play. This play is, um, I think, really slept on in the gun bunch because most people like just the corner routes, the floods, the verticals play. But Bunch Trail is really one of those concepts that can really, I think, put your gun bunch at a lethal level because it forces the user to have to go to the post route, whereas most people, when they defend gun bunch, they either want to use her the bunch side or they want to use her to defend the running back. So let's go over Bunch Trail here. And what you're gonna see is all we're gonna do from a setup perspective is we're just gonna put the circle receiver on a fade route. We're gonna put the X receiver on a flat and then we're gonna put the running back on a wheel. And what you're gonna see is this post, um, I like to smart route it, but you don't have to. But most people run their cover three like this and you get a lot, especially if you're running gun bunch, you will get a lot of cover three Mabel, meaning Mabel coverage, meaning double flatting on both sides of the screen. And what this post route really does a good job of is just pass lead to the inside. You wanna make sure you aggressive catch it, but as you can see, it's gonna get great positioning against the Mabel coverage. Now, if you under if you understand Madden, uh, at least at this point in the year enough to know that oftentimes the user is going to be sitting kind of right in this little pocket on the defensive side of the ball. So if we can give him something to use, or for example, the running back route or whatever, then what you're gonna notice is it's gonna open up a lot of room for us to be able to throw this inside pass lead. So again, just pass lead inside. Whoops there, I did not mean to lob that. You do not wanna do that. You don't wanna lob the ball, um, but you wanna bullet pass it. And in this year's game, post routes, um, they're not as good as they've been in years past at beating man to man, but against zone, I think they're actually a lot better this year at beating zone coverage, um, especially trips to, from like trips from one side. So it forces the cover three to be rolled to the trip side. So the cover three, um, the deep third safety is almost always on the bunch side if someone's playing cover three. So when you have this concept, you now give yourself a lot of opportunity that opens up this middle of the field. And we're just gonna pass lead that inside. And you see there, we can easily just aggressive catch it or even possession catch it and beat that cover three coverage. The other thing I wanted to point out is the defense that most people are going to try to call to stop this is the cover four drop. But because we have this streak route and this wheel route, you should see that this cover four is going to get pulled a little bit, um, a little bit back. And so you can actually throw this inside pass lead uh, against the cover four drop. Now, like I said, you know, we have other reads against cover four, which I'll go over those in just a second. But primarily what this does also force your opponent to have to do is it forces your opponent to have to put a cover four or an inside quarter on that side of the field, which is then is then going to open up other routes um, for your offense. But in the event that they do run cover four, just low, you can low pass it, low, low point pass it um, if they're using somebody else on the field. The other thing that you can do um, specifically against cover four um, is go ahead and, like I said, make sure to smart route that route. And let me show you this real quick. So again, if you just take a look at the square receiver, pass lead inside right there. And you see how I can cut that off before that cover four uh, inside quarter zone is gonna get into the box to be able to make that play. What you're gonna also start to see is a lot of people like to run match coverage on this. Now, this, this does not exactly kill um, match coverage, 
but it will be pretty solid to the right side if we were to work the right side, which we'll talk about that in just a second. But take a look at how this receiver gets solo isolated. And you see before that quarter can recover, we can easily just inside pass lead that and cut it off. So it's really good against that uh, defense as well. And then the defense that I think it's really the best against is the cover two because the middle of the field um, is really going to get wide open here. And as you can see, we can kind of fit that in. Now I will say you have to come to the you have to come to the table with kind of the prerequisite of understanding this guy oftentimes is going to be their user. So he's going to be underneath. He's not going to be deep down the field. Um, you know, that's not really what he's going to do. Typically, he's going to be kind of in an underneath type of setting. So when you inside pass lead that, oftentimes that means they've forgotten about the post route. This is kind of a sneaky little play that you can use um, if they start to forget about something. Stuff like that so let me go over match coverage one more time and again like i said i like to smart route that post and then just basically cuts inside and we're just going to aggressive catch it and as you can see we're able to give ourselves a pretty good read against a lot of different defenses okay so now what i wanted to do is spend just a few minutes talking about this this right side um this corner route this year to the at or to the r1 is really really good um it's very difficult to stop this it doesn't really matter what coverage they're in and i'm going to go to cover two just first just to show you so if they're in cover two you're just going to pass lead this up and as you can see it's able to kill uh cover two now, if they're in cover three, and let's say, for example, that they are double flatting on both sides, so they're trying to take away, um, you know, the corner route. What I like about this specific corner route is it's a sharper corner route than the one from Z spot. And I actually like to smart route this one um, because it will give it just a little bit more depth. But take a look at how smooth that just kills the cover three Mabel defense. So we're able to beat cover three, we're able to beat cover two. Let me go over to that cover four drop real quick and show you um, how good this is against cover four drop. Obviously, if they're not playing hard flats, I can always check it down the tight end. But as you see, this corner route is just cooking every single coverage because it's a sharper corner route. If I were to go to Z spot, Z spot's corner route is a little bit more angled. It's not as sharp as a read. The bench pivot route, in my opinion, doesn't get the same amount of depth. And so this one, in my opinion, for my money, is the better corner route. Now, let's say they run some match coverage on you because everyone knows that match coverage typically plays corner routes really, really well. What you're going to see from this specific play is because it's so sharp, you see how he can actually kind of get underneath the corner route um, or underneath the outside quarter defender. Let me show you that one more time. So, again, I'm just going to set up some match quarters uh, coverage. And one other little secret that I do like to do from time to time is I'll actually motion this guy out. And I feel like this gives me just a little bit better spacing um, for the totality of the play. But what you'll see here is if we do motion that out, now you see, I mean, he just absolutely cooks match coverage. It's a real easy read. You're going to hit that over and over and over again. Another little trick that you can do with this is just kind of help you maybe if you wanted to maybe run a little bit more max protect um what you can do is block the running back put your tight end on a delay fade um and then what i'm gonna do is just motion out that streak or motion him out on a fade now you've got a great play for cover two you've also got your backside post and you'll see here that again that post route is so open against quarters you know and this is more of a down the field type of passing concept but one of my favorite plays in the entire game so as you see here i mean it just beats every coverage there's not a coverage in the game that's going to be able to defend this now if they do go to man-to-man -man coverage at least where the game's at this year if you smart route that route i find the smart routing of the route he's going to get that inside position and then you see right there we can hit that inside pass lead against man-to-man -man. So Bunch Trail, in my opinion, is one of the most slept on plays out of Gun Bunch this year. I think that you're going to start to see, you know, especially with a cover three patch um, looming or definitely on the horizon, um, I think that you're going to see a lot more Bunch Trail. If you're a Bunch user, um, most people have kind of slept on how good this play really is. And the cool part about it, little bonus for the end of the video, is this actually is very, very good um, specifically against cover three. So if you want to create kind of a cover three beater, all you have to do is delay fade the tight end, put circle on a streak, motion him over, block the running back, kind of max protect. And you're just going to roll out of the pocket here. And what you're going to see is the square receiver will absolutely kill cover three over the top for a one play score most of the time. And if not a one play score, at least a massive dot. So the bunch trail is really, really good. Not very many people are really running it well. 
And I think the main reason for that is because Seattle is the, is the primary playbook for Bud's Trail. So if you haven't gotten my Seattle guide, it's in the description. It's just 15 bucks. And if you want to get that free sample or preview uh, in my text message membership, or you just want to sign up to get those free schemes every single week whenever they come out, just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. And I'll shoot you a link to the playlist that has all of the previous videos. And it also is where we'll be updating it with all of the future videos. Again, that's not something that I offer on public on YouTube. Those are just for people that have texted me. So if you want to sign up for it, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900.